Takata saying that you know the cost to them and the industry could be up to $3.5 billion. A recent study has suggested that that could be as high as $27 billion. Now, this just isn't a Takata problem. If Takata fails, it will literally bring the entire vehicle industry to a halt because there are not that many airbag inflator companies that are out there. And if you have a certain company that fails that's making a million or two million or three million of these a year and they fail, there has to be another company that takes its place. More importantly than that, you still have to have a company that can keep up with the supply and demand for our new vehicle market, but can also take the vehicles that are subject to the recall, that are subject to the concern of having the improvi improvised explosive device going off, and there's a hundred million more of those vehicles out there. This could be a problem that lasts decades. So when you hear numbers like there's only been 10 death cases, that's not the number you look at. The number you look at are the thousands of people who have been disfigured because of shrapnel blown into their face, shrapnel blown into their eyes, shrapnel blown into their foreheads and their hands and their arms and their chest. Those are the numbers that we need to be focusing on.